Hey boys, welcome back to another video. We have a new 5x5 that I made with Ali Hody. I don't know how to say it, but this guy, and we're gonna see it. Away a little bit, and then we can undo it. It's really dirty, but it doesn't matter. The farm goes up, and there it is. So you can hear a lot of dropper clicking because this does use observers, but. <laughs> It is really, 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 really amazing. So, it uses a lot of droppers and hoppers, especially on the top. You can see this is like our extra moves. These we couldn't fit in here because we have to deal with like an updater piston, the side piston, timing this triple extender. We also had this amazing thing that I came up with to help with. Powering the storage because we had like a ton of room that we could use. So instead of just having an observer line, we used this overly complicated thing. But it doesn't matter. This is just like a recreation of the dropper, hopper, dropper, hopper thing. Like kind of like like this, and it goes back around like that, something like that. Um, it uses a stack mine card to get from here back to there. It's probably a better way to do this, but we have a torch there. We have two droppers there. On the top, we have our extra move circuit. We have to use a hopper minecart, which is pretty cool. And we actually, to power our side pistons and our triple center on the bottom to retract, we actually use the extra moves, which is kind of amazing. It's a cauldron in there. And then we have to have a ton of observer stuff up here to power the quad at the right time again. And this is dropper, another stacked minecart thing as a T-flip wall thing. Because why not use more droppers? So I will show you it again. There might be a tutorial. You can see it closing. Now this piston is not in the wall, it's up here, but we have to give it a one tick pulse and then retract it before the pistons arrive down here, otherwise they want to get the update because we tried to get around that, but it's okay. There we go, you can see it goes down and retracts, and now it gives the update. That's it. So you can hear a lot of dropper clicking, like I've already said. That's kind of sad. Um, this double extender torch thing I have explained in my 765 block 505. I will link that plus the tutorial in the description. And if there's a tutorial on this, I probably will not explain how it works because it works like the exact same. Well, like, I'll explain probably some of it. Like, I probably won't explain the storage. I'll probably just explain like the dropper stuff and delay in this. And yeah. So, yes, he has a chair now. And, yes. Don't mind the 69. So, I will show you to you the bottom working. So, Oh, we actually, and there's another cool thing, we actually use the slab to get the signal down. This could technically be a stair, but it's a slab here, because you can't see it. And if it was a slab here, I'd probably just use a slab. And if it was on the wall, I'd probably use a stair. Other, otherwise, you would see that, and that's not good. So, see the bottom, so slash slash redo. It pushes out, pushes in. And then we got a four tick pulse from the second storage from over here because that only powers twice in the entire door. So that's how we obviously can get the power through. 
Let's wait a little while. And now the bottom goes. Does a double extender. And that's where this dropper thing now comes in. To pad this. Now the reason why the bottom has, well, 15 items is because this here is actually is connected to the storage, so that's why the bottom is so slow. Otherwise, the storage on the top had to quickly break in the quad. So okay, and yeah, so that's the bottom, and I'll show you this comparator A activating. So it obviously doesn't do anything on this edge because well the item can only go through two so it powers through both of them it gets to here then it gets powered from this double extender to go through and it powers at least two times so the item will go through no matter what signal through here up to the torches and into this repeater now I will show you the top which was really painful to do because of timing and stuff uh, we can do that and I will just well let's, um, let's just do some mold edits so I can show you how this works Okay, now I have to repeat this command again. See, it closes like a normal closing, same speed closing on the top as my other 5.5s. So you just have like a repeater input here that just connects over and it connects right from the storage because um, it connects right from here up to there because well, when you're doing your when you're doing it, if you just on the retraction when this retracts, it will push down again, getting ready for the quad. And yeah, why not? Makes the door look amazing. So. And if I do that, you can see the quad powers gets the blood. And those that double pulse here, you can see that retracts the pepper down. It's perfectly timed for the bottom. And all that clicking you hear is the droppers going down there, probably, and the extra moves because you can hear this dropper powering and this dropper powering from up there. There's also this loop. Like I said earlier, and it doesn't matter if those break. So if you want a tutorial, let me know. And yeah, and I'll see you next time. By the way, there is a little cool down, as you can see. And I'll see you next time.